It takes time and patience to build a car engine from scratch, and you should enlist the aid of an expert mechanic for this task. A car engine requires more than just bolting components together. Different tolerances and torque settings for nuts and bolts must be maintained depending on the type of engine. Although there are many different kinds of engines, the most common ones you will encounter are four, six, and eight cylinder engines. Carburetor or fuel injected, single or double overhead cam, or conventional cam engines are the further categorizations for engines. The main parts are the same regardless of the engine you have. Step 1. The new lifter should be submerged in engine oil for at least 5 to 6 hours, ideally overnight. Line up all the new components, nuts, and bolts, and gather all the tools you'll need to assemble the engine while the lifters are soaking. Step 2. Piston rings should be put on the piston. Make sure the three rings are spaced evenly. When you start the engine with the brake and the rings lined up, you will experience blow-by, and the engine will continue to burn oil. The cylinder wall should be treated with STP oil. Other oils can be used, but STP is thick, gooey, and sticks to the walls, staying there not only while you work but also during startup, safeguarding the new engine until the oil pump can properly lubricate everything. Step 3. Install the top half of the main and rod bearings by turning the block over. Apply STP oil treatment to the bearings' visible sides. After positioning the crank, mount the main bearings' lower halves on the bearing caps. Place the main bearing caps in place. The crank will be held in by this. The main bearing spacing and torque specifications are found in the engine's manual. Step 4. Reverse the block's direction. On one of the piston rod assemblies, insert the rod bearings into the bearing caps. Take note of the markings on the piston's top. This will reveal which direction the piston enters the block. Set the piston into the cylinder hole after compressing the piston's rings with a ring compressor. Use a rubber mallet to gently tap the piston into the hole as needed. While tapping the piston, help the rod onto the crank journal. For the remaining seven pistons, repeat this procedure. Step 5. Overturn the block. Install the bearings in accordance with the engine's torque and spacing requirements after coating them with STP oil treatment. Put the camshaft in. Apply STP oil treatment to the cam then carefully slide the camshaft into the block. Install the cam button correctly. Set up the timing cover and chain. Before securing the cover, make sure the timing marks are properly aligned. Put the oil pan and pump into place. Step 6. Put the lifters in place. They should have been soaking up oil by now and should already be covered in it. The intake galley with paint. This will make it simpler for the oil to slide back into the block. Activate the heads. Make sure the head gaskets are installed and that none of the water jacket's holes are obscured by them. They may fit on more than one way, but only function in one direction. Utilizing the specifications for the specific gear engine you are working on, torque the heads down. Step 7. Install the rocker arms and push rods. The torque requirements for the rocker arms are listed in the engine's manual. There are no push rods to install when building an overhead cam engine. The lifter is directly pushed by the cam load. The intake manifold into place. The gaskets can be secured in place by applying a small amount of RPV to them. Step 8. Put the valve covers in place. You are now prepared to start the car's engine. Once the engine is tightly bolted into the engine compartment, the remaining accessories fuel pump, carburetor, and distributor, or fuel injection, can be installed.